Unlike DEXA, the REMS looks at bone density and bone quality. And mm -hmm. the latest research is strongly saying and pointing towards the fact that it's bone quality that's a better predictor of whether someone will fracture, not just your T-score, that bone mineral density. And so by having REMS early on, non-invasive, no radiation, mm -hmm. more accurate than DEXA, and you're getting that bone density and bone quality, more about mm -hmm. bone quality and the research supporting it and how this REMS plays a role. Can you speak to a little bit about, you know, these medications and, and the mechanism by which they work so people can make more informed decisions. So usually first line treatment in osteoporosis or osteopenia, you know, you've got calcium and vitamin D. And then if there's a need for medication, bisphosphonates, you know. So they help the they're anti-resorptive medication. So they actually help the bones with growth. Because it also balance and osteoclast, osteoblast. What by that means by a term, some help the bones actually get stronger and actually grow, and some you're taken away from them. So the more they take away, the more fragile the bones become and easier for fracture. So bisphosphonates have been around for a while and they do have certain conditions like certain ways you got to take them properly so you avoid side effects you know lots of water things like that depends on which one you take and then if some doctors or it depends on the score we'll go straight to the new medication which is proly or disonum and that is by injection given every six months so those are the main two courses plus there's a big plus to that is is there a good diet is there a good calcium and vitamin d intake is there any resistance training or weight training exercises is the patient mobile enough to go for walks right because you also need to strengthen the bone not just grow them, but you make them stronger.